All right, welcome back, ladies welcome and back. gentlemen, to the Code A round of 32. I am Ultra. With me here is Doa, and uh, I'm sorry. Oh my God! Like I'm such on. Ah. <laughs> I'm like messing everything up today. <laughs> this is actually Wolf. I casted this morning with Doa, and yeah. I, I actually like barely got time to rest between casts, so like my mind just continued on. Well, it's funny because well, we've all made this mistake so many times because we switch so often that I thought you actually did it as a joke, and then I was and then like, I'm like, oh, and then and you you're made like, that oh, face, and I was just like, ah, it's actually even funnier now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and uh, that. JYP. Yeah, don't mistake him. I'm not man. gonna mistake him. He used to be known as smart, but he's still he's still smart. And now he's using his initials JYP. And, Is uh, that he, his initials? Yeah. And he made it to Code A round of eight last season. And this guy's always shown impressive play. You know our processes are falling off the map one by one. I feel like this is like um Gone TV and Dustin Browder have teamed up and he's like, execute order 44, he like <laughs> makes a new one. And it's like, they eliminate all the processes out of the GSL. That's what's happening here, man. Every process played today has lost. And you know, there aren't very many processes left in general in Code S and in Code A. And JYP is one of the last ones. We saw the chosen one, Alicia, fall earlier today. We saw MC fall. What yeah. did we see just last game? Well, Shiny Star fell. Yeah, JYP was actually the only Protoss to get to the round of eight of Code A last season. So uh, he may be the Protoss hope for Code A this season. But here is his opponent, the Zerg player who keeps qualifying and never does anything. Yeah, Juke too, man. He is consistently qualified. He's been in the GSL for a long time. He played back in the open seasons. This guy's always been around. He's a really good example of someone who could just work hard always and to a certain extent prevail. You know, he did pretty well in the Super Tournament, actually. His own little individual league he played there where Code S players and Code A players played together. And he's back in Code A again. We'll see if he can make it out this time. Trends have shown that Perosses haven't really been winning, so maybe he can hope to advance here against JYP. But I gotta say, I think JYP is definitely the favorite. Yeah, well, um, it is. Fortunately for Ju2, this is, I mean, it's JYP. He's a difficult Protoss, but uh, Juke 2 actually doesn't beat Zergs or Terrans, so he only beats Protosses, so it's a good thing for him that he is getting in his best matchup here. Um, I mean, he's only 25% win rate against Terran and Zerg. He's 60 against Protoss, though, so we'll see if he can bring it out here in his best matchup. The game is going to be starting here very soon on Antigua Shipyards. Game number one, is JYP going to be the Protoss hope for Code A again, or will Juke 2 finally advance in the round of 32? We're gonna find out here in just a second at the GSL Code A. All right, here is our Protoss player. The only Protoss to get to the round of eight of last season of Code A. Can he do it again here by beating GSL JYP? His opponent, there he is. For some reason, Coach Lee was switching the patches on his jacket earlier. <laughs> I don't know why. And here's his Zerg opponent. Last showed himself in the Super Tournament. Yeah, he actually beat um, any pro, and Keenan almost beat Ryung in the Super Tournament. That was his last real showing. And before that, he was in Season 2 of Code A. He was actually in Code S for the first season just because he was playing in the open season so yeah. much that he had enough points. Um, but he lost immediately in that first season of Code S. Got the up and down matches, lost in them, lost the wild cards, lost in Code A. So he like did well in the open seasons and then just spent a long time losing all the way out of the system. This guy is old school. He's as old school as like Maru Prime yeah. coming back and qualifying, you know? This guy has been around in the GSL. You guys probably all recognize his name. You're probably like, oh yeah, I remember this guy. And you know, he's back. We're gonna see if he can Pull something off here is going pool first and Antigua, which is actually somewhat unusual. You do see hatch first a lot on this map where it's being spent, usually not pool first. Forge first for JYP, actually making a second pylon before Nexus. Now, JYP is actually pretty good against Zerg as well, by the way. He actually beat um, Violet in the up and down matches as part of his 
uh, rise to getting into this situation. Ooh, blocking the drone. And he beat Dong Regu last season, actually. He's the one that knocked Dong Regu out, that's right. And here he is trying to block the drone, making a hatchery, dodging around. He's juke tooing back and forth with that pro. <laughs> He's juke to oh, and fro. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> one more hit left on that probe. And the funny thing was actually because he made the Zerlings, the probe was taking a lot of hits, but he didn't even have enough minerals for the hatchery anyways. But it looks like the probe is going to get taken out now by these Zerlings if Juke 2 controls them properly. Nice control by JYP though on that probe. It is going to get taken out eventually. It has to make too many turns to get home. But JYP added a second pylon so he could help wall off here with the gateway. He's added his Nexus now as well. The probes. Gonna make another gateway to help wall off here. He's gonna cancel that immediately. And yeah, now yeah, the cannon is finished. It's a temporary block just in case he tries to run the lings by. And once the lings leave, he can cancel it so he can get a faster core. And actually, he has a core already, right? No, he's... no, he doesn't have a core. Yeah, he just. That's interesting. Made the second. Gate. Oh, he has to have a gateway first, duh. Yeah. I um. Mole trap. Forget just the like, basics. <laughs> I'm just like totally on crack today, man. Do you know what is required for a forge? A nexus. A, a, and a pylon! Yeah, I actually have to have a pylon as well. That was that was gonna be in the second part of my trick question, but you saw through that. Ooh, Juke 2 is gonna take See? a fast gold base right Whoa. in front of the probe. He's like, I don't even want to keep this a secret. <laughs> that was a bit silly actually, that he just like he even saw he was chasing the probe with a ling. And apparently he's made already a bunch of Well, it may it may just be that Juke 2 has figured this build out so much that he's so comfortable doing it even in front of his opponent's eyes. He may yeah. even want his opponent to know about it. Well, I mean, what's JYP going to do about it? Send out a zealot? Yeah, and the other thing is he can't um, he can't know that it's still there either. It could have been a fake. He can't check again to see if it's still there, and it may. He may be wanting JYP to gear up for something more aggressive. I mean, he's going to send these first two Zealots out. This is actually something that's becoming so popular to do in PvZ, and I really like it because you can put so much pressure on these Zealots. You can force extra Zerlings. You can do tons of damage to hatcheries that are building. And you don't really lose a whole lot by doing it. If you yeah. lose the Zealots, it means your opponent has made a ton of Zerlings, so they've already been worth their cost. Yeah, they, the opponent has to make at least an equal cost of Zerlings to kill those two Zealots. Exactly. And in fact, he's actually going to send these up to the natural rather than sending them to the third base, which I like even more. Yeah, he doesn't want to try and mess with that gold base right now. He's going to try and find a good corner to battle these Zerglings. Uh -oh. Now he's trying to micro back. Nice micro by Juke 2, actually losing no Zerglings there. And JYP actually pulled back, losing no hit points on either Zealot either. So great micro wow. from both players. Some pro stuff going on here, yeah, this man. This is high level stuff. Now the gold base is up and running. He's transferring just a few drones over there. Doesn't need as many drones there because it's a gold base, of course. Look at this microing against the wall with these zealots, not losing any hit points still. The Zerglings, though, trying to get a good surround, but unfortunately not able to, and he's killing quite a few Zerlings and may end up getting away with these. Meanwhile, two Stargates going up in the main base of JYP. Nice micro wow, on these zealots pulling the out of the way. Oh man. Wow. He's gonna kill all of those Zerlings. That was so pro, taking the one that was about to die and just running it around, so it distracted some of the Zerglings while the other Zealot killed Zerglings. He killed, it looks like, Wolf showed me, 12 Zerglings with losing one Zealot, basically. Yeah. Void Ray is on the way. Second Stargate's finishing up. He's actually placed his Stargates somewhat apart from each other, so his opponent won't necessarily be able to know, if he, even if he gets in and sees, which will be very difficult to do, he won't be able to know that it's two Stargates. Eight drones are on the way right now. The Lair is finishing up, plus one missile attacks are finishing up as well. So he does have an Evolution Chamber. Hasn't made any spores just yet, though, he's, except the one that he's made at his gold base. It's smart to get some defenses at the gold base, because you know it's going to be a target. And that Void Ray is in fact headed straight to the gold base. It's going to find that Spore Crawler and a Queen. And it's going to get driven off pretty quickly. Two Queens in fact. Yeah, because he has that Creep Tumor on the high ground, you can always see the Void Ray. I think his plan here was to use the Void Rays on the high ground to harass the drones, but because he has that Creep Tumor, he always has vision of it. Two Void Rays still constantly being produced at a time. Wow. So he's actually just showing this one Void Ray 
to make him think that it's like a one Void Ray into yeah. Gateway Army, and then he's going to come out with like six Void Rays and some ground units to support. And then, I don't know what JYP's going to be able to do about it. You well, can't defend making, that with just Queens. He is making a Hydralisk then. Okay, good. He's adding some Roaches into his mix as well. He's got Roach Speed on the way. He's got actually Overlord Drops on the way. No Overlord Speed though. Nice. Kills the Overlord and gets away. Actually, Supply Blocks and Juke 2. He's going to come in here and harass the main a little bit. Maybe get another Overlord. He will indeed get this. He's actually limiting so much the knowledge that Juke 2 has about these Void Rays. Look at that perfect timing. Pulls. I thought that Overlord was going to live because he pulled it away, but the last moment of that beam. Oh, this attack is going to be so sick. Off. Five four. Void Rays in total. Four more Void yeah, Rays coming out. Four more Void Rays coming out. Sentry's going to be able to trap these Roaches. Oh. Kills a couple a of lot them. of Void Rays. Six Void Rays now in total. About to be seven as another one is coming out. This Void Ray might get taken out, though. Needs, needs to, to get away careful. from that queen. But the Stalkers and Sentries coming to support. This is a really nice timing attack by JYP. Catching these queens. And these Roaches are going to fall so quickly. A lot more Roaches coming out. The Spore Crawler doing some decent damage, but how much? The Spore Crawler is going to go down very quickly. There's no queens to transfuse. And the Void Rays are, are charging up. Charged. A couple of them are fully charged. I, well, they're mostly charged. They're on two. The queen, now there's only one queen over there. The drones are all but taken out, and these roaches may clean up most of the gateway area, but with these void rays here, the roaches are falling so quickly. Nice micro by JYP. Pulling back the stalkers, warping in more stalkers here. This hatchery is D-E-A-D -E dead. That's right, man. Even the broodlings aren't going to survive that. Now he's going to run his void rays straight into the main and try and go after the hatcheries here. Nine Hydras are on the way, but with this many Stalkers on the low ground to support, they're not going to have range, and the Hydras can actually be targeted by the Stalkers if the Stalkers get close enough. He needs to pull these Void Rays back, though. Oh, nice stutter stepping with those Hydras. Gets two Void Rays. And there are so many Overlords right for the picking over here if he goes for these. He's actually oh, he's trying to do a slow, slow drop. Roach drop over here. But he's turning back. Why is he turning back? He wants to catch these Hydras with their low in number. He doesn't know there's anything in those drops, and they're going so slowly over there. There's Overlord oh, Speed. Oh, Overlord Speed finishes at just, just the last moment there. Um, he doesn't have a lot to support these Hydras, unfortunately. He needs to get out some... Okay, he's getting out more Roaches. Good. And yeah, those the Roaches, roaches are actually, actually not chilling. being microed, yeah. So these Void Rays are going to come and deal with these quite easily. He can't even pick up and retreat because Void Rays are the units defending here. He may try to target down the Nexus. It looks like it may go down. Void Ray's coming in here to try to help out. They're targeting the Overlords, though. And the Nexus is getting low. Oh, he needs to target it down as quickly as possible. Oh, he's so low. I think the he's going to get it. is so close. A couple more hits left. Oh, he doesn't get it. Oh, man. 146 And look at this. HP. Overlord's flying over Stalkers, dropping Hydralis. Wow. Nice force field to get most of those away, but there's still more Hydras being dropped here. They're going to crush this Gateway Army. And in fact, even with these Void Rays supporting, He's going to need to run away because it's way too many Hydras to engage straight up. Is he going to pick up those Hydras into the main? He if he very does, well might. If he does, I don't think there's enough Void Rays left to stop him. Well, actually, never mind. There's more Void Rays that have been created. Okay, the opportunity. No, he's actually in the main now, dropping everything out. Yeah, the Void Rays doing a lot of damage. The Overlord's tanking a little bit here, but I think there may be just too many oh, units for JYP. No. The Zealot's doing the real damage. The... Hydra's were on move command, and those got cleaned up extremely quickly. He didn't have all of his units in that drop, and he had only dropped part of them. Exactly. So instead of like having his whole army against Juke2's whole or JYP's whole army, it was just like a few roaches and a couple hydras just there to get killed. And look at this, the Void Rays gonna catch these overlords. Speaking of Juke2 there to get is killed. supply blocked right now, 132 over 118. That's an improper fraction. It is, man. Don't laugh. This is a serious situation. Now, these Hydras want to engage, but he's not sure if he has enough. He's going to bring a few more. I think that's going to force JYP back. And the Hydras being targeted down by the Void Rays to try to eliminate them, but there are just so many. Blink is done, though. There's too many units for Juke2. JYP has to pull back. This is such a close game. During all of this, Juke2 still hasn't been able to secure third base. He's just now remaking his gold. Nice micro again here. Doing a really good job of defending with these Roaches and Hydras, though. Hydras just so strong against both Void Rays and against Stalkers. Yeah, and he looks like he is going to force the cancel on that third base for JYP. 
positioning only the roaches up to the high ground while the hydras actually roam around the low ground. By the way, when you mentioned that, I actually started simplifying the fraction in my head and I was like, wait, no, this is not <laughs> the time, this is not the time for that. Don't worry, he's now 136 over 176. Good. Takes off a void ray there using those overlords. I like that. He's just been able to scoot around the edge with these hydras, pick off pylons, catch void rays. He might even go for these gateways right here with his roaches and his hydras. I really like that. We've seen yeah, a lot of play like this on Antigua. We saw this earlier with Select, actually. Just yeah. taking off gateways using flying units for vision. Yeah, and he needs that. Yeah, this is, this is really, really good. He's killing so many production buildings. And there's nothing JYP can do about it right now. Yeah, he's going to maybe try to trap some of these units with force fields. But, oh, he gets him away just in time. Juke too, you know, he looked like he was in a dire situation, but his gold base is up now. He's got a huge army and JYP is contained. He's trying to take a hidden nexus at the top left, but even that, you know, he's not going to be able to transfer any probes over there anytime soon. He's going to be able to just use the one probe that's there and uh, make probes at that nexus to mine from there. I like how he's actually made some zealots up at that top left as well. He's going to go harass the gold because uh, Juke too has him so pinned in his base, he's not going to expect this, and that gold base is barren. Uh, defenses right now. Here he is going in. He's got a large army. He's going to try and drop in here. Stalker's blinking up or maybe going to take out one Overlord, but the units are dropping out. I don't know if JYP can defend this. You know, it's going to be really hard. There's so many Hydras in here. The Void Ray count is so low now. Even so, the Hydras are just doing so much damage. The Stalkers are blinking back, but there's so many Zerg units in here. Even Creep being dropped. He takes out the next. The Hydras have to retreat because the Colossus is out. He gets the majority of his units out, though. And unfortunately for Juke2, um, half of his units were attacking buildings during that battle. And that's partly why he got driven off very quickly. And things didn't go as well as they really should have. Yeah, now Juke2, he still has a decent army. He needs to remake it very quickly though, because there's a timing here where JYP can move out and counterattack and perhaps take the high ground behind the gold base and force the gold to stop mining. Yeah. He is making, uh, he just made a dozen roaches. He's continuing to make even more roaches. He's getting, uh... Oh no, these units on move command, but they are going to get a better concave here. And JYP doesn't have much room to blink. Wow, he's completely surrounded. If he blinks, he blinks almost into the fire of more roaches at this point. The Colossus gets targeted down, leaving it to the Hydras and the last few roaches to pick off the last stalkers as well. The one stalker just getting some paw shots from above. Oh, and the Colossus, Colossus is caught out in the middle. Oh no, if he loses that, it's... Oh, barely gets it back behind those stalkers in time. Now, JYP actually has quite a few probes over that top left base. He was able to sneak some out there. And uh, he actually forced a cancel on the bottom base of Juke 2 with those four zealots he made earlier, but they're going to be cleaned up now by these roaches. Right it's now, I'll give you guys some numbers. Sorry, I'll, no, go ahead. I'll, I'll just give you guys some numbers really quick and then we'll try to continue. 53 probes, 64 drones, 1 Colossus, 14 Stalkers, so 23 Roaches, 10 Hydras. It's looking like a pretty even game, but I think yeah. Juke 2 just has a better army and he keeps trading efficiently. Yeah. Um, what were you going to say? I'm sorry. Oh, that's alright. I was just going to say that he actually, it was just interesting, he never actually upgraded um, range for the Hydras. Yeah, I was noticing that earlier. That's something that that's huge. I mean, I noticed but, it earlier, but I thought he had gotten it eventually, but no, he still doesn't have no. Hydralis range. But the reason why the Hydras are being so effective, though, is look at that swath of purple on the minimap. He has spread creep all across the map. He started by building creep tumors when he initially built the gold, and he's kept spreading them around um, so that the entire map between his base and, Juke and JYP's is covered in creep, and that's why these Hydras have been able to actually function. And he's got Infestors with Pathogen Glands now. Guess how much blinking is going to go on when those fungals hit? Not, Not a very whole much. lot. Zero, in fact, on the uh, stalkers that get fungal. He now actually just got Hydra range now that we were talking right about. Right now, it. yeah, his Hydra range just finished. Right now, it's 200 supply to 117. He's got basically double the supply of his opponent. He's taking hatcheries at the bottom location. He's making macro hatcheries. He's got Pathogen, or uh, excuse me, Neural Parasite on the way. He's got a Hive on the way and a Spire. He can actually control the game. The game is in his hands. He's got a grip on it. Yeah, all he has to do is just tighten his grip and strangle the life out of JYP, man. And he uh, still hasn't spotted that top left base, though. Yeah, he doesn't know about his Overlord is close to it, but doesn't quite see. He's going to see this base, though. Overlords couldn't block it in time. But he actually, since he has drops, he can just ferry some units over there and force a cancel on that. 
It's funny that JYP has been able to get away with these hidden bases with basically no defense. This little roach drop here is going to be cleaned up, no problem. But, you know, why not trade a few units when you're maxed out, you've got more bases than your opponent, and these roaches, they found it. Oh no, this is really bad for JYP because now, Juke 2 can turn around and yes, his whole army is abandoning the front for a moment to go take out that base. JYP knows it, and so he's moving out as well onto well, the map to try and engage that. Smartly actually though, Juke 2 actually left the majority of his army in a way where it could still catch these armies um, of JYP moving across at a weird angle. Oh yeah. He might, if he he might just good, catch him in the middle. If he can get some good neurals off on those Colossi, man. Things are going to get nasty. That Nexus, of course, is now probe deprived. The 12 o'clock base has been cancelled. He's going to lose that Nexus to those Roaches. This is the point in the Zerg game where you're like, alright, all I have to do is make sure I defend properly, and in the meantime, I'm just going to contain, get some money in the bank, get as many upgrades as I can for that late game, try and get my Broodlord attack. Nice, attacking from three different sides here. Roach is on one side, Bungle's going off, trapping some of the units, but with great force yields, JYP is engaging the Zerg army just the way he needs to. Blinking forward, catching a ton of investors here. Two investors go down, the third one might go down with full energy. And but I think what's going on in the meantime is I believe he's dropping in the main at the same time. There's a bunch of, over never mind, those overlords are actually empty. This is actually all there is, is just these few corruptors trying to fend off these colossi. Where is Juktu's army? He doesn't have much left, man. 16 roaches in production. He's got 16 out right now. He's going to have a total of 32 in those pop. But I don't know if that's going to be enough to deal with JYP's army. JYP has taken something that looked like an unwinnable situation and made it work just by taking that hidden base and now doing a great attack through the center. He's going to destroy these rocks. And I'm not sure if Juke is going to be able to hold the north base, or excuse me, the south base. While he's moving his army north, we may have some sort of base trade scenario here. Drones going to escape, actually. Oh. oh! Some of them escaping. But meanwhile, here's the huge counterattack. Yeah, a ton of roaches countering here to try and... I'm actually not sure why he didn't just clean up JYP's army. I think he could probably beat it with those that amount of roaches. Well, here's the thing. If he can get in here and cut off the production of JYP, he'll be able to engage the army however he wants, similarly to how we saw last series True. And, this, and another PVZ. I think that's what he's going to go for here. Now, the Colossi are starting to cut into his production. Four Broodlords are out, though. And, and he's got 28 Stalkers. He's going to have to keep that Stalker count as low as he can with his roaches before he engages, it's going to be very, very difficult for Juke 2. Yeah. Well, the thing is, though, is Juke 2 has a little bit more to fall back on. I'm sorry, JYP has more to fall back on. Juke 2 just doesn't have any extra bases. I don't think he has any really any drones out on the map. Yeah, he He's got 10 minerals in the bank. No income, 10 minerals in the bank. Like you said, he can't even hide an extractor. And he's trying to bring his drones over to join the rest of his army, but he has no mining, so he can't even make an extractor. He has nothing he can do here. All the buildings that you see for oh. Juke 2. Juke 2 doesn't know about the 12 o'clock base. He thinks he's going for an elimination race right now. He doesn't even know that JYP has cannons and, and he's a, making dark a dark shrine. shrine. There's no lair. He has no overseers out. He can't make any overseers. If that dark shrine finishes, it's going to be lights out. Yeah, well, I mean, he actually might just kill all of Juke 2's buildings in the bottom right anyway. I don't think he has any hidden buildings anywhere. Well, there are no hidden probes, actually. And it, he needs to target down JYP's base, but he doesn't realize it's there. This is really weird because he's got a chance to win this, but he just can't. GG. GG. And there's the GG. Oh, man, that, that last, was so tense. His last Evo Chamber about to die. Juke 2's like, why isn't he revealed yet? I guess I lose. And um, Juke 2, he's going to go, is he on a, he's on OGS, right? Yeah, OGS Juke 2. The OGS coach is probably going to go over to him right now and be like, how many times have I told you, always send a Ling around to scout all the bases in the mid game. <laughs> and Juke 2 just going to kick himself. Yeah, he looks when a little he, bit When frustrated. he tells him, he's like, not only did he hide a base the whole time, but he actually hit a base in plain sight right next to you when you were killing his main. Yeah, there were overlords right near it. In fact, I don't even think JYP... He had overlords like this far from being a division of yeah. buildings of the top left base and the 12 o'clock yeah, base Yeah, JYP didn't took. intend for that base to be hidden. He was just like, I'm pretty sure he knows about it. I don't know why he's not going for it. He was making a ton of cannons there, made his dark yeah. shrine there, and, you know, Juke 2 never found it. That was a close game, and this is actually the first step 
Apuros has gotten today, so it's not <laughs> being eliminated in the round of 32 on our danger days. Well, OGSMC won his first game oh, as well. Oh, that's true as well, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that is true. Uh, but will this guy follow the same path and then lose the next two games, or will JYP be the first Protoss to advance today? I don't know. Find out, man. We're going to find out pretty soon. The next JYP map is, is be Daybreak. JYP is pretty good versus Zergs in general. I mean, he, like I said, he he took out Dongregu. Now, Dongregu, I guess, isn't actually known for his versus Protoss that much, so but still a strong player. Uh, so definitely it's something to uh, put something a notch to on your belt for. Took yeah. out Violet in the up and down matches as well. So very strong player. And we saw Juke too actually had total control of the majority of that game. I think if he had Hydralis range earlier, some of his drops have been more effective. He might have actually been able to end the game a lot sooner. Yeah. And JYP did great blink micro. In those situations where he was almost dead when he was on the ropes, he blinked back, he kept his stalkers alive, he engaged a little bit, killed some hydrogen roaches with his void rays, then blinked back. He just kept doing that repeatedly. He played in a scrappy situation, he took a risk, he hit a base, and you know, I feel like Juke 2 should have won that game, but JYP yeah. just outplayed no, him. Juke 2 really should have won that game. I mean, he was maxed. Against 111 against, supply. Exactly, exactly. He, he was maxed against that much supply. He was getting all sorts of bases and upgrades. Um, just banking money. Had control of the map. He was like, I'm actually just going to camp in a concave, so if you try and move out, I'm just going to surround you. And uh, that one base in the top left enabled him to macro up enough units. Yeah, he, Otherwise, he would have been basically on one base because his main was going to mine he out. He didn't even make cannons there for the most the most part of making that base over there. He wasn't able to sneak Eventually his pros for a while. For a while, he wasn't able to sneak him, but he was able to get him over there. And, you know, he took such a risk. He just made an excess in a pylon. He was like, if anyone finds this, I guess I lose. But I'm going to lose if, if I don't do this. So he just made that nexus. Yeah, well, I mean, you got to do that kind of thing. If you know you're in a desperate situation, you got to do something like sneak a, a base in a hidden location or get a dark shrine and try and win with DTs and catch them off guard or something like that. You've got to do something that's not supposed to work if they play correctly, if right. they play super safe. And uh, hope to get away with it. And that's what JYP did, man. He got away with it. That so, he did. Yeah, Daybreak is going to be map number two. And uh, there's our competitors again. JYP is like, oh my god, how did I win that? That was so close. Yeah, Juke doesn't look too phased, though. He, no. I think he knows that he just made a little mistake. He knows he's definitely capable of beating this guy. Mm -hmm. And he's going to try to do it here. Map is loading. That was one of those ones where, like, if they were playing on the ladder, Juke 2 would have been like, rematch, because, like, he knew he could beat him. He wants to prove it. Yeah, yeah. But we're going to find out in the regame on Daybreak here in just a moment. <laughs> 